A section of opposition leaders have scoffed at Deputy President William Ruto's pronouncements against a constitutional referendum to expand the executive. The leaders now accuse the Deputy President of selfish political interests in the wake of the Uhuru Raila handshake. But in a quick rejoinder, an unapologetic Ruto has stood his ground, terming any talk of creation of extra political posts as greed. Jackie Marie Beripons. The political drumbeats continue to sound all the more louder, despite incessant calls from some quarters to close the political chapter for development's sake. And now the handshake informing conversation, with the 2022 succession taking center stage. A section of leaders from the opposition taking issue with the deputy president's castigation of the proposal to expand the executive through a referendum. In fact, Uhuru Kenyatta should advise his deputy, Ruto, that this is not the time for campaign. This is the time for wise men like Raila Molodinga to sit down together to determine how Kenya is going to move forward. Deputy President William Ruto has been a very patient man lately, and especially after the recent golden handshake between His Excellency Raila Molodinga and Uru Kenyatta. And I understand why he's been impatient, because according to him, this handshake is supposed to undermine his political future. The leaders who joined a faithful at the Mariakani Christian Center in South B lauded Rilo Dinga for putting the country's healing first by building bridges with President Kenyatta. But now they accuse the DP of attempting to scuttle the unity plan. <laughs> Watupe sisi kama wa Kenya na fasi. Na tunaambia bwana Ruto, upende uspende, handshake itafanya kazi na Kenya itaenda mbele na wewe utaendelea kuangalia kwa dirisha vile uliangalia siku hiyo. But an unapologetic Ruto insists talk of an expanded executive structure was informed by grid. To him, the power rests with the people. Yes, tunawaambia my friends, nyinyi mnaishi kwa dunia ingine. Kenyans have the capacity to elect their own leaders. They do not need a few of us to go and sit in a corner over a cup of tea at the Tukubaliane Nane Takua Executive Prime Minister at the Aendeshe Serkali ya Kenya. Ruto, who led politicians under the Jubilee Party in a Thanksgiving ceremony for Trade Principal Secretary in Uasin Gishu County, said the Kenyatta Odinga Unity Pact was not to be misconstrued as an attempt to reward some politicians. Prime <laughs> Na wabunge wachache kwa na fulani Ati ndia atakuwa inaendesha mambo ya Kenya Ati njini wanainchi mamilioni Hamuna uwezo ya kuchagua nani ataongoza Kenya hii Ati sasa ndio tufanya referendum 2018 December ama 2019 Alamu tukimalisha referendum ya 2019 Tuanze campaign ya 2022 Ni mwaka gani tutafanya wanainchi kazi Proposals to change the constitution first made public through the Kamket bill that seeks to create a powerful prime minister through a parliamentary system, now the subject of intense political debate. Jackie Marie Bay, Sunday Live.